Hello everyone and welcome back to The Bear Thread. So this is a an upcycle video. So a sewing video but it, this is an upcycle. This was to save a pair of rainbow coloured um, dungarees that I bought for my son um, when he was um, quite little. I think they were like 18, size 18 to 24 months. I've still got a bit of the top part of them here. And he, um, I absolutely love the rainbow and the bright colours, I really love that. Um, especially for kids, I think that's like what kids should be wearing. And like most boys clothes are such dull colours and it just really like depresses me that that's what boys are kind of forced to wear. And then obviously girls are just forced to wear pink and like there are so many other great colours out there guys, you know. Anyway, <laughs> I love the dungarees, I think they look really cute. But then we potty trained and dungarees weren't really very, like, because they have buttons, they're not easy to get on and off. For him, he wouldn't have been able to get out of them, so it would have made potty training a lot harder. So he just didn't get very much wear out of them. And then he rediscovered them recently and was, like, forcing himself into them. They're too small for him now. I mean, he is four and they were size 18 to 24 months. And he's not a huge kid, but, like, he is too big for them now. So they were going to have to go and then I felt bad and he felt bad and I wanted to try and rescue them at least in some way. So I have turned them into a cute little pair of trousers. So basically I've just kept the trousers of the original dungarees. So these are like the original cuffs. I haven't um, changed the legs at all. Um, obviously I've chopped the top off of the dungarees. I basically chopped it at the highest point that I could to keep as much of the fabric that I could. So I've just chopped it here where it started to taper in for the like bib part of the dungarees. Um, and then I folded that over at the top to make a waistband. I wasn't entirely sure how I was going to do it. I knew I needed to add elastic so my idea at first was to just create a waistband, a separate piece, sew that on and create that into a channel to, to feed the elastic in but when I had cut the um, the top off the bib like I said I kept as much fabric as I could and I actually thought they were just it was too much fabric they would have been too high waisted they would have been too tall so I didn't need that extra fabric and so I actually folded that over I attached the waistband um, as well and the folded over bit and the waistband created that kind of channel. Um, the waistband already that I used was fabric that had already been like overlocked so it already had kind of a neat finish and then I just um, placed the elastic inside and then I top stitched it along the top and then I also did a, another row of top stitching towards the bottom of the elastic just to keep it all in place. Um, and that has worked quite well. It's not the neatest ever, but like you can't really tell. And they are like a little bit scruffy now because there are some stains and stuff on them that just won't wash off. Um, they're kids, you know, it's kids clothes. It's it's fine. And so I think it works fine. They're comfortable and um, the waistband like fits around his tummy comfortably. So that's really the important part. I did reuse the little pocket. Now this was on the front of the bib. So I repositioned that onto the back, like a back pocket, and I lined up pretty well the colours of the stripes in the pocket fabric with the stripes on the um, bum, basically, the back of the trousers. Um, I didn't really think through the placement though, and it is too high up. So it did mean that it is quite high, I don't think you'd be able to really put anything in there. Uh, it'd be a bit a little bit awkward to do that but also it meant that when I was top stitching to um, kind of sew down the elastic in the waistband I couldn't at this point otherwise I would have sewn through the pocket because I'd already attached the pocket so I should have either moved the pocket down that might have looked a bit weird though because then the colours wouldn't have lined up nicely or I should have just done the waistband first and then added on the pocket but then that might have been a bit awkward I don't know, it just didn't quite work. I didn't really have like a clear plan. I was just kind of making it up as I went along. Um, but it worked well enough to get a pair of wearable trousers out of the dungarees. Um, they are probably a little bit on the short side for him now. That was one of the problems with the dungarees. But it doesn't matter so much when they're trousers because they'll just come up short and he'll just be wearing socks. Whereas when they were dungarees and they also had like the straps attached, 
um, it was really pulling down on his shoulders. So um, yeah, that's basically it. They were a pair of Frugi um, dungarees, which is a relatively expensive kids brand, but they also do have some really nice um, fabric and I have like bought some of their fabric bundles before. It's just so, so expensive, it's such an expensive way to buy the fabric that I'm not gonna do that again, but it is nice. So the fabric is nice and they were like decent quality to begin with and you didn't get very much wear out of them so I'm really glad that I managed to upcycle and create something that he will use and wear and I do love the bright colours especially as we're moving into like autumn winter when it's just dark and dreary outside you want like something bright and fun fun bright and fun in your wardrobe and these are fun So that's it, that's my upcycle of my dungarees to trousers. Let me know what you think in the comments and do give us a like and a subscribe.